Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Folklore. In the last part, we took a little side trip to go do a quest, but now we're going to be heading back to the main storyline. So let's go and head to Arcadia with Keats and figure out what all this mess is about. Run, 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 run. I wonder what would happen if you saw somebody in real life running like a re retard like that back and forth like do 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 or just running around in circles. Whee! Sorry, I that's copyrighted by Tabuscus. <laughs> My bad. Blinding light. Ugh. Harriet, behind the church, there's something I wanted to want to show her. Alright, so something behind the church. Let's go check it out. Go check out behind the church. Oh shit. Keats! So you've come. I have a question. Does this netherworld mean that the ancient legends were true? The fabrications of ancient men and illusions are unrelated. But it seems quite real, as to me as well. But the afterworld is no such place. You work for an occult magazine. Whatever. How do you know? I just know. There are clues of sorts. May I go with you? To the church graveyard, Ryan's final resting place. So he's writing for a magazine about stuff that he doesn't believe in. Makes you just want to fall in love with the character, doesn't it? Shining light. What? What is this? Darkness. <laughs> Opens up the flames of hell. Did I do that in the last one? I don't remember. Or the last time that that happened. I really can't remember. Alright, so we're in Warcadia. Fast forward through the still pictures of it, because we already know what it's like. Hey, Balgay, what's up? What is this place? So the Netherworld hasn't... wasn't the land of fairies? This place, well, let us call it Warcadia, because that's what its name is, and we typically call something by its name when we want to refer to it. The Netherworld was born out of human thoughts on death. Fairy realm of pleasure is how the ancients imagined the afterworld. And so Warcadia must be the contemporary image of death, then. That makes sense. Where's Ryan? Inside another folklore? Not necessarily. But it's true that the dead who feel powerful emotions, such as rage, hatred, or sorrow, tend to get pulled inside folklores. I see. I have more questions, though. Are there other realms besides this? As many as there are stars, the fairy realm is only the beginning. This Warcadia is quite far removed from the real world. And the further away it is, the more strength necessary to open the door to that world. And my strength is limited, is that it? That's why you need the power of the folklores. You defeated Sir Nunos in the fairy realm. And so, you mean that's why I was able to enter Warcadia? So two birds with one stone. More for my story, plus an occult experience to boot. Yes. Keep on writing, Keats. Keep on writing. So, as per usual, it is the same map with more or less some of the same characters. But there are differences, so yeah. Yeah. 
these guys are pretty much the same basic ones as they were before. Run back out. And can't reach the other one. Gay. Don't be a douche. As you'll be seeing, I won't be using uh, his transform thing very often because, to be honest, it's, it, it's useful in case of uh, about to be dying situations. Like, I'll probably use it on. Uh, I can't even remember if Gargantula is in this one with Keats, so I'll probably be using it on him. And for the mini bosses. Oh, yeah, see, that's the thing about Hawk in this one. See, now he has, instead of being a charge attack, he has a similar to Puka's attack. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Uh, let's see what the difference is on attack power. Where are you, Puka? There. Pook does more damage, but he's also been unlocked more, so. What does it take to unlock him? Absorb. Basically, absorb more ones. So, for now, sticking with Puka. You guys suck. Eat flame. Yummy. Will I get sucked into the next level if I go here? Nope. Sweet. Oh. Trying to sneak up on me? Not gonna work. Eat barges. All right, so next area. Lovely Mountain Dew to accompany this night of folklore. And it's killing deaths of soldiers. Oh. Let's see if I can get all four before the other one recovers. Yeah. Not bad at all indeed, Keats. I think Bar just can reach those. Yep. Yay, all that was there is life, though. And nothing up there yet. Give me your head. Settle for three on this. Barrager. Oh, there's another one up there. Huh. Didn't see that before. Must have unlocked when I absorbed one of these guys. Do do do. And what do we have here? More yellow dust. Cool. Anyway, do un any power unlocks here? Actually, there is. Defeat eight folks, yellow dust, pulse tree nuts for what? Andraste? Deh. Not gonna worry about the Andraste for now. Don't use them enough. Thirty folks with bargest. I could do that. I gotta remember to do this with. Stop doing it. I gotta remember to do this with Ellen. Ten folks with Barrager. Absorb them. Alright, cool. Do, 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 do. Alright, so we have an enemy coming up, and we don't have any books. We 
yet. Oh wait, no, we still have one more area. Fucking mosquito. Don't give me malaria, asshole. Absorb. And... Yay. We'll die. So, guys, I want to know something from you. Uh, so far, I've been doing the chapters as Chapter 1 for Ellen, Chapter 1 for Keats, Chapter 2 for Ellen, and now Chapter 2 for Keats. Would you like me to keep going in that pattern? Or would you like me to stick with one person for a while? Or whatever. Um, I'd like to know what your guys' thoughts on that are. That, because I this is how I would do it if I was playing by myself. Or, I mean, like, not playing by myself, but playing for myself. But I want to know what you guys think, so let me know. I will also ask this again at the end of chapter, at this chapter two. Um, maybe not at the end of end of chapter two, but I might even do this before I actually publish this video. So who knows? But I'm I just want to get that out there because if not, I'll change the way I work on the levels if it gets boring because. We basically just completed the level, and now we're doing it again. But things are different enough. I wouldn't bother me so much. But I, yeah. So just let me know. Get back on that. Meanwhile, I'm going to be kicking these guys' ass. Owie. Get out of my way, Fire Crystal. Oh, yeah. I guess I should be killing these guys with barges. Or just kill. This one too. Wow, this guy's a freaking tank. Alright, there we go. And that gave us a cold tree nut. Not really worth the effort, to be honest. What do we have down here? We have the way to go back to the last area, I believe. Yep. So, yeah, we really just have... Now we're going to be in a fight because we'll be at the Colosseum. I think we still fight the Degasser here, but I'm not sure. Nope, completely new. Some cannon guy. Ow. Should be absorbing these guys too, but I mean, Bar just needs to unlock his power, so it, it works. Doesn't bother me so much. This guy's fucking annoying. Would help if you let me know what I was supposed to hurt him with. But no. They want to make it tough for Keats. I think it's just the fairies trying to make it hard. Ugh, sorry about that. Harder for Keats than on Ellen. Oh, dude, this guy is easy compared to freaking the Gosser. Hold button for sweeping flamethrow. Cool. All right. Um, so, now we'll head out and basically go to the same area that 
quite a number of fairies have been sent in. Interfering in other realms like this is no small matter. Denizens of the fairy realm? Why are they coming here? Immensely powerful beings sometimes control denizens of a netherworld. The fairy lord is one of them. Actually, it was he who invited Ellen into the netherworld. Is that Scarecrow, his emissary? What's so special about her? One question at a time. What's the fairy lord's goal? Fairy Lord aims to change the Netherworld. The fairies don't think the Netherworld is how it should be. Surprisingly progressive for a realm created from ancient ideas. They simply cling to an older error. That's it. Oh shit. I did not mean to do that. What's so special about her? What's the relationship between Ellen and them? Denizens of the fairy realm cannot pass th between realms. Seems the fairy lord cast some type of spell on Ellen and it opens up a path to the netherworld where Ellen is. Ellen is a netherworld trailblazer for all fairies, is she? Enough for now. Speak to the dead to solve your so-called conundrum. I was intending to. Bitch. So, fairy, what's up? It's odd that the fairies are strolling around Orcadia like they own the place. Oh yeah, I forgot this is, uh... They're actually part of this realm. Heal up real quick. Alright. Head over this way, because this is where we got the good boys with Ellen, so let's see what's here this time. Oh god, we don't have the Degasser this time. But we do have Bargess. Whoa, is Bargess even not fucking... Okay, Bar just is doing something. And so we got Gadirg. So Gadirg is not Gub Boy. Press rapidly for far reaching combo attacks. So basically it's the same thing. Except this one can hit through other Gadurgs, which is nice. Sup, douche. Ow. Yeah, these guys are these charged, so. And thank you. Yeah, I didn't think I, I thought I had gotten that guy before. So yeah. The only thing I think is is they uh they don't these guys don't have the stun. That the other one did. But who needs the stun when you they got more powerful attacks? Oh, sorry, man. No, die. To barges. I forgot. I keep forgetting that I'm trying to get killed with barges. It's all good, though. All right, so we got a page one. Let's see what's in this page. We have. Flaming soldiers, I believe. I guess that's supposed to say that the soldiers are weak to flame, which we do have hinky pink. And we I guess we have the volcanic guy too. Hinky punk, I mean, but Haha, this... <laughs> you missed. Total whiff. Thank you. These guys should drop golden ore too. Oh no, they grab green ore. Well, excuse me. Ah, we have another one. Owie. 
Except this guy's a cannon baller instead of a flamethrower. This isn't good because I can get attacked by the other things while I'm trying to absorb this guy. Just in time. Brumbear. So that's what a Brumbear is. So if we were to kill, uh, I don't know how many, but some of those with the uh, Hawk, we'd unlock his id. So yeah, I'm gonna switch to Hawk. See exactly what we gotta do here. Defeat three bum bear with hawk. Absorb five bullseye ids. Defeat two volcano with a bullseye. Defeat ten folks with a barrager. Absorb one more volcano. Defeat five folks with a brum bear. Absorb five gadirg. Luckily, I think there are more gadirgs in the other screen. back this way, where that little uh, other area was last time. But we will have to explore that area more next time. So, uh, let's talk to this guy real quick. Helping you is not easy. Anything you'd like to know? Releasing karma. Part 2. Certain conditions make folks you use stronger using M's, for example about the ultimate shield and spear. The ultimate shield will appear only before the ultimate spear, understand? No, I don't understand. Anyway. So, we'll explore more of Arcadia with Keats on the next episode. So, see you next time, guys.